Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm gonna to be going over my everyday makeup basket for September of 2018. I do have a whole playlist for all of my monthly makeup baskets starting this past January, I believe. That'll be up in the cards if you guys wanna check that out. And just to get out of the way, this is a different background. I'm actually currently house sitting for a family member for the next week or so. So there, you might see like one or two videos with like a different background. And just right here is perfect because like they have an entire wall of windows and it's just like early afternoon. So we're gonna work with the lighting. <laughs> so since I am house sitting this month, I have all of my everyday makeup in my travel bag but I did pull it and like arrange it in my like desk drawers first before I packed everything so before we jump into all of my everyday makeup don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like these everyday makeup baskets or m monthly makeup baskets as they're called and if you haven't already I hope you would consider subscribing and hitting that little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every Monday through Friday I'm also hoping that the sound isn't too bad in here. It's a really large room. I'm actually hearing a little bit of an echo, so I hope it's not too bad, but if it is, I am sorry. So I currently, I just did, I just finished doing my makeup, so I have all my makeup kind of a little bit messy, but I do have like all my liquids in the little bag. And then the rest of like my powders and stuff are in here. So I'm just gonna go through the bag first, and then we'll go through all the powders and the palettes that I have in the other part. I have two foundations that I'll be using along with my LA Girl White Mixer because neither of them are really a perfect shade match for me. So I've got the White Mixer. The two foundations I have are from, or the first one is from NARS. This is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Punjab. I actually have a full video on this. I'll throw that up in the cards, but I haven't really used it too much since that video. So I really wanted to break it out, use it a little bit more. It is pretty dark, so I've been using that White Mixer, but I am wearing it today and it doesn't look too bad as long as I bring it down my neck. The other foundation that I have is from Hourglass. This is the Vanish Seamless Stick Foundation. I have the shade Natural. Again, this is a little bit too dark and a little bit too yellow for me, but if I mix it a little bit with the white mixer and then just bring it all the way down, it doesn't look too bad. I'm still very confused about this foundation because when I first apply it, it looks gorgeous. And I love the way, especially like for filming, this is definitely a good filming foundation. But for wearing throughout the day, I see some really bad breakdowns, like right here where my pores are the worst and like down here. So I've been testing it out with different primers and with different concealers and different powders. So I'm still testing it out. I haven't found like the perfect combo of like primer to powder to whatever, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to make this work because it's so easy and fast to apply. You can just go like shoop, 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 and then blend it out. So I want to make it work. But then again, if I'm trying so hard to make it work, then it's not, you know, convenient. Cause I would love to have a nice stick foundation for those days where you just really want to go. <sighs> But we'll see. I'm gonna spend the next month seeing if I can make this one work. The concealer that I have, I'm carrying over. This is the Kylie concealer that I've really been loving and this is in the shade Bone. It also really helps. I know that shade is a little light, but for darker foundations, I like to use it like on my forehead and under my eyes and on my nose and my chin to really help lighten up a darker foundation. It just helps a little bit. I have two makeup sprays. The first one is the Too Faced Hangover RX 3-in-1 spray. I actually really like this. I think it's supposed to smell like coconut, but it doesn't, it, I don't know. I can't really describe the smell, but it doesn't really smell like coconut. I actually really like this as a primer. I've been using this a lot as a primer under different foundations. I'm still iffy about it as a setting spray, but this is a really good primer and that's what I've been using it as. The finishing spray that I really like, this is a mini of just the Scandinavia makeup setting spray, one of my all time favorite setting sprays for my combo skin. It really helps. Like I can see an actual difference in the longevity of my makeup when using this. Speaking of primers, I do have two. The first one, I'm trying to finish up this little sample size. This is a carryover from last month. This is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Refiner Primer. It really lasts a long time because I just use it where my pores are really bad. So I don't really use more than like a dollar a day. It's a decent primer, not my all-time favorite pore filling primer, especially like for the price of a full size, but it's pretty good and I'm just using it until it runs out. The next primer I have is one of my favorite silicone based primers. This is the NYX Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer. It's a dupe for the same primer from Smashbox. It, the, the name is escaping me, but it's a dupe for that silicone based one. Pretty good. I think it's a little bit pricey for NYX. Like I think they can get a little pricey when it comes to their primers, but they're decent primers. 
just never pay full price for them because like I don't think this is really worth like 16 17 dollars use coupons get them on sale they're decent but I think they're overpriced for eyeshadow primer I'm using the urban decay prior blah, blah 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 for eyeshadow primer I have the urban decay eyeshadow primer potion this is the original one this is a mini I got as a point perk from Sephora so I'm trying to work through and use it I also have my uh, Mac paint pot in soft ochre this is in my finish five by fall project pan so I'm trying to get a little bit more use out of it because I I do want to finish up the whole one like the rest of this by October as always I have my tried and true NYX glitter primer I'm almost out I've already bought a backup though but this has lasted me a long time and I would not buy any other glitter primer any other just blah this is amazing the brow gel that I'm currently working through is the NYX control freak so far this is the best one that I've found other than my ABH clear brow gel um, I've had this for like a month or two I tend to follow the same rules with brow gels as I do with mascaras just because I know they dry out a little bit. So I might have to rebuy this one in a month or so or hopefully I can find another cheap or more affordable dupe for the ABH one. For mascara, I pulled out one that I've had for a while but I've not opened yet. This is the Urban Decay Perversion. Decay. This is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. This has actually shocked me. I've used it a few times. I absolutely adore the brush on this. The brush is just so, uh, it's perfect for my eyes. It's the right shape, it's the right size, and the way the bristles are distributed really grabs each lash and fans them out. Again, it's like the perfect size for my eyes, and the formula, it's just wet enough to coat everything, but it, it doesn't get too clumpy, it doesn't fall down my face, so I'm actually really, really impressed by this mascara so far. I've used it for like a week and a week and a half-ish so far, so I'm gonna use it for the whole month and then just gather all my thoughts on it, but so far, really impressed. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the little container where I have all of my powders and stuff. For brows, I have my palette from the Brow Gal carrying that over. I just use the darker shade right over here to fill in my brows and then just use a clear brow gel on top. For face powder, I'm once again using my ColourPop pressed Fluff of Fluff, no filter sheer press powder in light. This is also in my Finish 5 by Fall Project Pan. I repressed it and now I'm very close to finishing it. So I am gonna just use this until I finish it up. For loose powder, I have the Cover Effects Matte Setting Powder in light. This is actually a really good setting powder. This is, I think I got this as a point perk from Sephora as well. You get a lot of product in here and it's, I've, I'm wearing it today under my eyes. It's super finely milled, but I think might be a little too light to use because I'd like to set down here as well, but it might be a little too light for me to use on my chin. But overall, it's a really good under eye setting powder and it does help out a lot if you are like really oily. For me, with a combo skin, sometimes I can see it look a little dry, but as long as I spray my face with a nice hydrating spray after doing all my powders, this looks fine on me. For a blush this month, I'm going with another of the mini Benefit blushes I got in the kit that I picked up a few weeks ago. This is this blush in Gold Rush, which is like a peachy, pink, shimmery blush. I'm also wearing it today. I really like this one, and I didn't think I was going to like it. Honestly, I've been gravitating more towards peachy, pinky, glowy blushes. Think like Luminoso from Milani, and I used to like think oh I'll never go for a glowy blush or something like I used to be so afraid of a blush and b glowy blushes but those have been my absolute favorite lately and I've been loving this one it's called gold rush if I can use up this whole one I doubt it like I've used it enough to kind of wear down the indent but if I could use this up I would consider doing like a full size of this one I have two highlighters for this month one is from again my finished five by fall project pan this is the Fenty kilowatt freestyle highlighting duo and I am very close to finishing lightning dust which is really exciting it's gone to the point where I'm considering repressing it because it's a little bit tough to get the edges but I'm getting a lot of views out of that and I've also hit dust, dust, why do I keep saying hit dust? And I've also hit pan on light or fire crystal. Yeah, that's this one. I've hit pan on fire crystal, which is really good for me. I didn't think I was gonna hit pan on it, but I did, really exciting. So I've been using this just about daily. But I also wanted to pull out a highlighter I haven't really been reaching for a lot. This is from Becca. This is the Light Chaser Highlighter in Champagne Dreams Flashes Bellini. And it's just this beautiful like peach, like a peachy goldy highlight. It just screams like late fall, uh, early, early fall. 
it just screams like late summer early fall to me there it is right there it's like the perfect pinky gold highlighter I do have quite a few of like these little mini light chaser highlighters and I haven't been getting a lot of use out of them so I really just wanted to pull it out and remind myself that I do have these other highlighters and I should also be using them. I've got my lash curler because of course I've got my lash curler. And then before we jump into the palettes that I have, I actually pulled some lip colors and I really want to go over those because I'm staying here for a week so I pulled just different lip colors that I've really been reaching for lately. A few of the Jeffree Star liquid lips and then one from Wet n Wild that I've been loving lately. So for the Jeffree Star ones, I have the Velour liquid lipstick in Wifey, which is a really nice blue based red. I have the shade Mannequin, which is like a really, really light pink toned nude. And then I have Celebrity Skin, which is like a true mauve nude, which is beautiful. And I don't have it like right here next to me, but the shade I'm wearing on my lips right now is Leo. It is my favorite like fall lip color and I've been wearing it like nonstop. So those are the Jeffree Star ones that I've had in here. The Wet n Wild shade that I love is Rebel Rose. And again, this is the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit. This is such a beautiful rose mauve deep shade, perfect for fall, perfect for um, like late summer. I've really been gravitating towards like a simple eye and a deep lip. I've just been loving that look. I think I'm jumping ahead of fall too much, but I just love everything about fall and I can't wait. But this is like their best lipstick formula. It's so comfortable and it looks great on the lips and it doesn't wear off like noticeably, like it wears off gracefully. So this is a steal for only like $3, it's amazing. Definitely check out Rebel Rose if you haven't already. Okay, so I know I normally don't talk about palettes in these videos just because I tend to rotate out palettes so much, but since I am staying away from home, I did bring a few with me. The first one, of course, being my Pan That palette, the Marc Jacobs style icon and the Lita. I just did a, um, an update, words Monica. I just did an update on my progress as well as a one week one palette with this palette. So I'll throw those both up in the cards if you would like to check them out. The next palette I have is one that I've also been using for my uh, bronzer and my contour. This is the Tarte Clay Play Original Palette. I actually saw this on Hot Look the other day for half off and I love the bronzers and the contours in this palette. This is such a good palette. And I don't know why they like shot themselves in the foot and discontinued it and came out with another one with like that blush in the middle that got really shitty reviews. It really did. But this original is so good and it's perfect for traveling. You have all of your neutral shades right here. You have a gigantic mirror. Hello mirror. And these bronzers and contour shades, I'm wearing them today. They're perfect. They blend out beautifully. They're super pigmented. So when you first put them on, it's like, oh, whoa. There you are. But you can just blend it out and you get just the most beautiful, diffused, natural look. God, I love this palette. I really like, I would consider panning this one next year, but I have different ideas for what I want to pan. But this is one that I find myself reaching for again and again. The next palette that I really wanted to bring out was an oldie but a goodie. This is the original Barack Pro palette. I went through my collection and I found this and remembered how much I loved it back in the day. And by back in the day, I mean like a year ago. And I really wanted to get it out and get more use out of it. I've actually been loving using this black shade as liner. I haven't been reaching for liquid liner as much, which is why I didn't have one here. I've been using this black shade and just stamping it along my lash line and then a little bit right here. Like I've been loving this like cat eye effect I can do just with shadow by just stamping the shadow on and it just looks so pretty and it's so much easier than trying to like do liquid liner at five in the morning. So this is like this black shade right here is perfect for that. It's pigmented, it's bulletproof, it'll stay. And I've just been having a lot of fun bringing this palette back out and definitely fall appropriate. So fall. If you can't tell, I'm just really too damn excited for fall. Bring me fall. And the last palette that I'm bringing back out is from Kylie Cosmetics. This is the Blue Honey palette. You've got some nice shades in here. Again, this looks like fall. Like I'm just ready for fall. <laughs> I wish it could be fall all year. Is there anywhere in the world where it's just fall all year? And can I move there now? 
but I do enjoy this palette. I wore this during my last live stream. If you missed that, I'll actually throw it up in the cards. It was my very first live stream. I had a whole lot of fun doing it. And I did my eye makeup right before using this palette. I used the yellow shade all over in my transition. And then on my lid, I had this beautiful like, uh, like a taupe, shimmery taupe kind of shade. And then on my lower lash line, I had the shimmery blue and it looked, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. But this is a palette that I really do like, I enjoy, and it just kind of got lost in the back of my drawer in my collection. So I really wanted to bring it back out. And I think we did it. I think that's everything for September. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And let me know down below what you're using for September, what you're excited about, and if you're as excited and ready for fall as I am, because I just, oof, I cannot wait. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.